Hey guys, I didn't get to film a week two postpartum vlog because um, she needed a lot more attention this second week and she was awake more often so we try to grab as much sleep as we can as you can tell from my very clean apartment. <laughs> we haven't had time for much. Um, she's asleep right? Oh, no, she's kind of awake. She's kind of awake. Let's move this. So, um, week two was easier in some ways and harder in some. Uh, her sleeping pattern is still off the grid, so um, unpredictable, so we kind of go around her schedule for now until she can establish a better one. Um, she still feeds really good, uh, but I was having trouble breastfeeding because I had a clogged duct on my left breast, so I got um, a milk blister which hurts really bad, so I've been having a little bit of trouble with that. And I try to nurse her through it anyway, throughout the cleaning and treating time, but it hurts so bad. It's one of those toe curling pain that I couldn't feed her on that side anymore, so what I do is I just feed her on one side for now, and then I pump a lot on the other side. And um, we've been sort of teaching her how to drink from a bottle too, but with uh, pumped breast milk. That way daddy can feed her or if or when she has a babysitter they wouldn't have a problem feeding her too. And she's doing really good transitioning from breast to bottle. As long as it's all breast milk then it's fine. Also because I'm running out of room in my freezer. <laughs> she's three weeks old yesterday and my freezer's halfway full of frozen milk. So we have to use up some of those before we run out of room. Um, I'm thinking of donating some breast milk when I don't have any room at all anymore. Um, hopefully I don't end up running out of milk before I'm ready. Sometimes that happens. But um, other than the breastfeeding issue, uh, everything is going well. I'm a lot less sore. I can move a lot better. I have more energy than I did after birth. It's just the fatigue now is just from from her. <laughs> from watching her and all. And she's doing really well too. She has gained her birth weight and more uh, on her second week appointment. She was 6 pounds 7 ounces. So that's really good. And as for me, I have lost 15 pounds since, um, since giving birth. Uh, a lot of you were asking about my weight and I will tell you, but keep in mind that I am very short, so my weight might sound a little bit on the lighter side, but I'm only four foot nine inches, so um, before I got pregnant, I was 93 pounds, <laughs> yep, um, and then the most I gained during my pregnancy was 20 pounds, so it was 113, and now I am 98 pounds, so yeah roughly around that time, but I am very short, so <laughs> keep that in mind. Um, what you doing? She's kind of awake right now. She just fed from a bottle and a boob. We're doing both for now while well, I can fix that one. Um, what else? Let me see. Um, I still kind of am bleeding, which is kind of annoying. It's been three weeks. Just a little bit now, though. Uh, not much. I had a uh, my first postpartum checkup, and I still have stitches from a hematoma. I didn't rip. I know um, the nurse said I might have had a little bit of tearing, but I didn't. Uh, no tearing at all, just a hematoma. I really, um, it's better than an episiotomy or tearing, I guess. So it's a little bit easier to heal from that. Uh, so the doctor just stitched that up until it falls off or fades away, or some of my stitches have started to come off, but it's still there, I guess he checked, and, um, what else? Kind of all over the place vlog, sorry. <laughs> I haven't had time to write down the order of how I'm gonna do this. Um, let me see. Um, she... 
seem to have been latching on a little bit weird lately. Uh, the first week was better. Like, first week of breastfeeding was flawless. She was a champion latcher and feeder. But I guess the clogged milk duct and the milk blister was caused by her not latching on properly. Probably during the times when I was just so tired that I would fall asleep while feeding her when we're um, laying down. Uh, she has also had um, like a congestion problem only because of the leftover gunk that was still in her lungs that she hasn't been able to expel yet so her nose would get so clogged that she couldn't breathe and um, we've had to sit in the bathroom with a shower on with steam to clear her up so I've been afraid to let her sleep by herself which has been the case anyway before that um, so we're doing kind of a crib and co-sleep type thing, just one or both. Um, she sleeps in the bed with us sometimes, well most of the time actually at night and I feel like I can keep better eye on her that way. Uh, it's something I'm used to because in the Philippines co-sleeping is like a, an automatic thing, it's like a necessity. It's Most people don't get cribs there <laughs> so it's expected that when you get a baby they sleep with you. So I'm used to that sort of thing. Um, I get very anxious when she's sleeping in her crib, but I'm slowly starting to put her back in her crib. She slept there the first couple of nights after we got home, and then sort of co-sleeping on and off since then, but last night I, I put her down in her crib. She gets really fuzzy there, um, probably because it's not as warm, and there's so much space around her. Whereas to when she's asleep with us, it's like tighter fitting and more cozy, but um, we're working on letting her sleep there. She's much more comfortable like this, and I know it's hard to resist. And also she's not going to be a baby for a long time, so I want to take advantage of every moment that I have her on this age, because sooner or later she's not going to want to be next to me or something <laughs> when she grows up. So. So that's all I can think of right now because it's kind of all over the place. I just wanted to give you guys an update on how I'm healing and how she's growing aside from the vlogs. If I have missed anything, please feel free to ask down below in the questions and I will answer them to the best of my knowledge. Um, that's all I can think of right now, so <laughs> let me see if I can put her down for a belly time. Look at her. She's so cute. She already feels too big for me. <laughs> Until someone else holds her and then I realize how small she is. Closer look. Hello guys. Hello. Okay. Try to put her down so we can do tummy time. Okay, or belly time. Alrighty. So, don't mind the mess. <laughs> uh, let me see. Okay. Three week postpartum. Or three week postpartum. Front. Side. You close up. Front. I still have some loose skin. And, um, right there. See? And my uh, stretch marks are starting to sort of fade. They're a little bit lighter, but they're still there. I don't think they're going to go away all the way. My tattoos did... Uh-oh. My tattoos did not stretch at all during pregnancy. They just sort of faced the other way. And um, my linea negra is starting to fade, but I don't know why it was concentrated on the area where I had a uh, belly button piercing, navel piercing, so that's kind of weird, but it's starting, I think it's starting to kind of fade, I can't really tell yet, but yeah, there you go, week three belly, um, 
like I said, if I left something out, please feel free to answer, uh, to ask down below, and I will answer them as soon as I can. Um, I will try to do a four-week postpartum again, but if it's too tight, again, the schedule and everything, I will make sure to update fourth and fifth next time. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I hope it wasn't too much all over the place. <laughs> we sort of just woke up and started the day. So, yeah. Well, thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, I hope this was helpful to some of you. And until the next video, I will talk to all of you soon. Bye!